Okay, I've been getting a lot of requests on how I did the uh, Cyberpunk 2077 um, AI voice conversion mod for Harrison Ford. Um, which, those kind of mods have been very popular on the Nexus lately. Um, so I figured, you know, if any people want to get into their own, I may as well make a tutorial about it. Uh, first off, I'll be showing you the basics of actually downloading and using the program. But I will have a tutorial linked from Nerdy Rodent, which shows you how to use a program more in depth and build your own voice models. He has a uh, site link where you can get pre-built models, and I will also be linking an additional one. Um, but I'll still go over that, um, you know, a little bit, just enough to for this purpose of this tutorial. And if you want to do more in-depth things, watch his video. It's it's very uh, detailed and it explains everything. So first, you'll go to this site that I have linked in the description. And then you're going to go scroll down to English. And then scroll down again until you find this. Or just download them from our Hugging Face Space. So you're going to click on that. And then... What I did, I have an uh, NVIDIA card. So I'm going to download this one, right? Mine might be a bit older, but you see the it's most recent updated one day ago, right? So just pick whatever one is for you. Or if you don't really know what would be better NVIDIA, Intel, whatever, just go for the most recent beta. So once you've got that, you are going to... Go, you're gonna go here and put it in any folder you want. Okay, simple enough, right? Um, so after that, you're gonna open Woven Kit and you're gonna create yourself a new project. We're just gonna call it Tut Voice. I'm gonna make a new location. Uh, cyberpunk we'll just do tutorial again and then you create the project so after that's done creating you are going to want to make sure you can see your asset browser so base game obviously is under base phantom liberty will be under ep1 episode one but Aside from base and F1, the path is the same. So you're going to open it, um, go down to localization, find your language, English, VO. From what I understand, VO Helm, VO Hollow, VO Rewinded is just like AI. You can look through them yourself, but I'm pretty sure that's it. So then now you're going to go scroll all the way down. You find V. So you'll see they're all in order, V underscore something, underscore M or F it'll be. So I made my male character and I have all those packed into a RAR. So I will upload those separately um, just as a modder's resource to, to make it easier on the, uh, you know, on you if you're making a male character. For female, you're going to have to do it yourself or hope somebody else uploaded it. Uh, maybe just ask somebody that uploads a female file if they have their uh, raw files or not and uh, go from there. But anyway, if you want to do it yourself, then watch this step, obviously. So you're going to select everything that is V underscore something in your desired M or F. So there's a lot. There's like 13,000 for base game and like 4,000 for Phantom Liberty. So I'm just going to do the small chunk right here for now, just for ease of this project. So after you add that to your project, you know, right click, add to project, you're going to go to uh, tools, export tool, refresh it, and then just select them all, and then export selected. And once that does its thing, you can just close the tool window. And then we go to our tutorial folder. And as you can see, 
groups are meant to do the like just so we can kind of pick a good file so we'll pick one that's decently long we think is our longest mm -hmm. and the tigers this is their turf okay so there we'll just use this one for now keep it highlighted or at the very top oh this is bigger let's see no no you don't owe me I just saw your prices could be. Yeah, we'll just stick with this one. Anyway, so once you've got your files out, you know, they'll be in this like raw folder, whatever you chose for it, or you can use mine. This structure is the exact same. You're going to open your folder where you installed the, uh, the actual, um, like the, the, the AI tool. There we go. So once you open your directory of that, you're gonna to go to goweb.bat and just click it. All right, so there we go. Now it's gonna pop up here. So you are going to do uh, click this if you're doing all of them, which I assume would make the most sense. So. But this is assuming you already have your voice models, and if not, again, watch his video, which I have linked below. I'm going to pick Harrison Ford, because that's what I want for my uh, for my voice. And then Octave, I think I did it minus two, because these voices are a bit high. So your export folder, I like to just go make a... Uh, let's see, we're, I just like to call it something stupid, like... Uh, v ford right or v deckard which is what i did so you're going to copy that path put in your output folder um in your index file it'll come with one or it should generate one um if you like you know if you build your own model it should build one for you so these again watch his video uh look at other people's discords i will ask if i can link one that helped me out with this whole process um but honestly just play with them if you'd like if you'd like to just experiment with them without doing the entire batch go to this tab set it up the exact same and then you can do single tracks at a time so it's just seconds instead of minutes or hours you know just to find out that you don't like it right so we're just going to do this i usually do it down to 85 yeah, keep the volume the same and then that's it make sure you're in WAV format because you're going to need it to be WAV to convert it back into the WEM thing in uh, in uh, WIs so you have your output folder there and then you have your you need, you need to copy your input so you go back into your folder wherever the uh, thing is you created for um, in woven kit your new um, project so you go all the way down to that I forgot to mention that sorry and then just copy that so copy that and then we're gonna just go back here for for ease and just watch it so we can see all the stuff here we have Harrison Ford selected we change the octave so it sounds a bit lower since he has a glow gravelly voice uh, and then I have my index path I tweaked all my settings here so now we just convert it and it should start spitting them out pretty fast once it gets going right, there we go and just wait a bit just see these are all wav files which is what we wanted okay so i'm pretty sure it's done now so Let's just give it a listen. I don't know if it'll sound great. I'm doing this quick. So you can spend more time with yours. And like I said, you can go to this tab and, and tweak it as much or as little as you want. And just spend your time making it sound better for you. Um, so anyway, let's give it a quick listen to see if it worked. Heard you got a special offer for your more demanding clientele. Okay, so there. It worked. It did exactly what we wanted to do. Um there's a program I use if you notice here you can see it it's blah 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 dot mp3 dot wav which is not what we want so 
I have a program called Advanced Renamer, and I'm just going to go to name, and then we're going to do uh, mp3 dot, or sorry, dot mp3, and then we're going to take all our files and drag it in there. And then if you see after, it just removes the mp3 and it keeps the WAV files. So I will have this tool linked below as well. And then we just start the batch and run it. And you see now it's just regular WAV files. So now comes WIs. Um, just search it up, make your account, do whatever, download it. And then just the, uh, you want this, just the regular WIs thing from the launcher. So just launch it. It's over here. So we will just make a new project and we'll just call it, uh, Okay, CP77 tests. Sounds good. So click OK. Let it do its thing. Uh, we're going to come up to Project and go to Project Settings, Source Settings. And you come here, click on that, and make sure you're on Vorbis High Quality. Okay? It's very important. And then now you're going to Import Audio Files, go to your Output Folder for after the AI, which is for me, V Ford, right? And then just drag it in and you'll see them all there, import them, let it do its thing, which I'm pretty sure it just did. And I like to check again, just because if you don't have the Vorbis high, it will not work. So you just gotta make sure it's still Vorbis high. So you're, you're set. Now you're gonna come here, convert all audio files, and then convert. And then so now we are going to go. Give me a second. You need to browse to wherever that project file is, which is usually your documents. Uh, and then it'll be, you know, there, WIs projects. And then CP77 test, cache holder, Windows, Voices, English. And these should be the WEM files, which is what you need to uh, put back in a woven kit. So now you can see, well, one, one key difference is you'll notice. Let me see if I can get there. If you look at the difference with uh, between the WAV files, and the WEM files. There's a quite a significant difference, and that's what you want. Anyway, so you notice that there's underscore three F seven blah blah blah, right? The advanced renamer tool comes out yet again. So what you're gonna do now is just copy it. Just make sure you got that with the underscore. That's very important with the underscore. Paste that in. Copy all of them and drop them in. We don't need to do that one. And you see just V underscore Kabuki M and then a string of numbers dot WEM. Start your batch and rename it. Once that's renamed, you are going to navigate to your source again, your archive, base, localization, VO. And now if you did everything correctly, you will get asked if you want to replace it. So yes, there we go. And then now, if you go back to woven kit, I just like to get rid of this by the way, because I don't need it anymore and it takes up a lot of space. I like to go to raw and delete the raw. Anyway, you should be able to, I don't know if you can play it in here. Anyway, so what you're gonna do now is just go to build and then install and that should be it honestly it's a not a crazy process but it's a little bit weird to wrap your head around um, unless you have something or somebody to follow so I know I probably didn't do the best job but I'll try and link all the resources I could um, that guy's tutorial this discord I'm in by the uh, person that made the Ariana Grande uh, 
voiceover that discord helped me a bit there's a few people in there so i will see if i'm allowed to um yeah pass that link along so hopefully you guys can get help there and between my tutorial the discord hopefully and what was his name nerdy rodents tutorial you'll be able to make your own voice models and uh start your conversions and get your v however you want to get them so uh yeah i appreciate the uh you know, I appreciate you watching, and if you have any help, or sorry, if you have any questions or you need help, um, leave a comment. Uh, I'll have my Nexus linked in the description, so if you need that, that would be easier to do. Thank you.